this oatmeal. Mm, mm, mm. This oatmeal is so good. I haven't had oatmeal in years. But for the past couple of days, well, since yesterday, I've been eating it regularly. So I had it yesterday, had it today. That's regular for someone who uh, hasn't had any oatmeal for years and for someone who is a creature of habit because once I start to like something, I don't know how to stop. I will listen to the same song uh, 52 times. My husband, my children, everybody gets so upset, but you know, that's just what it is. I like what I like. But this is what I want to talk to you about today. I saw a post. Um, I saw a comment actually on one of my posts and uh, the young lady said, um, I don't want to die broke. And there was a tear. She did the emoji with the uh, with the one tear dropping. I don't want to die broke. Wow. Um, it hit me because I remember feeling like that. I remember feeling so destitute, so desperate, um, so out of what I thought life was going to be when I was living check to Monday, um, when I wasn't making enough money. Um, after I had graduated from college and I had a job paying about $25,000 a year. I was married. I had a young child and I used to want five kids, but, one, but once I had one kid, I realized, oh, this isn't going to work because every time you have one kid, you need like a $50,000 raise. That's just what it is because you need money to uh, have them taken care of, to get them educated, some extracurricular activities, you know, more space, all of that stuff. So, she said, I don't want to die broke. And this is what I want to talk to you about today. Being broke is so unnecessary when God has given you the ability to get wisdom. Being broke is tired. Being broke is draining. Being broke is um, confusing. Uh, being broke is dark. Being broke makes you anxious. Uh, being broke... Uh, is fear and I am not talking uh, about going out doing anything and just getting all the money in the world that you think you need because um, if money comes from a bad place and it's not good I'm not talking about that I am talking about being in a position where money does not control your thoughts not having enough money does not control your every decision wondering where you're going to get enough money, how you're going to keep it, how you're going to pay your bills. I'm talking about getting out of that. I'm talking about what this young lady posted on my page when she said, I don't want to die broke. Let's get out of that. Now, here's the thing I want you to understand about wisdom. I did not say that you have to already have it. I said that being broke is so unnecessary when God has given us the ability to get wisdom because I know there were times when I felt like I didn't know anything at all but I had the ability to get wisdom there were times when I didn't know what to do should I go left should I go right should I go up should I go down but I had the ability to get wisdom and understand this about wisdom wisdom is not connected to your college degree as a matter of fact my grandmother had an eighth grade education but she was the wisest woman that I have ever met ever I haven't met anybody wiser to this day so I know a whole lot of people who are academically smart but are in dumb situations. I know a whole lot of people who get straight A's and don't know, uh, I'm not going to say what I really want to say, but it back in the day, you say you don't know it from Shinola and put the SH in front of that and you'll figure it all out. But I know people who have degrees who uh, have no wisdom. So getting wisdom and getting access to wisdom is not contingent upon the world uh, you know, made intellect. It is not dependent upon your race. It is not dependent upon your gender. It is not dependent upon anything else that you uh, can apply to yourself externally. Getting wisdom is a choice. It is a choice. So how do you make that choice? How do you look at your circumstances and say, 
I don't want to die broke. I don't want to die lonely. I don't want to die afraid. I don't want to die bitter. I don't want to die angry. I don't want to die uh, confused. I don't want to die worrying. Whatever that is, fill in the blank, whatever that is, this is what you do. Being broke is so unnecessary when God has given you the ability to get wisdom. Being broken is so unnecessary when God has given you the ability to get wisdom. Being broken down is so unnecessary when God has given you the ability to get wisdom. So the first thing you want to do, if you want to get wisdom, you literally want to talk to God. I mean, for some people, they might say it's talking to yourself. When I was down and out at my lowest point, and that has been a couple of times <laughs> that I can remember, um, I would just speak out loud. I would just say what was on my mind. I'm tired. I don't want this anymore. I want better. I want to do better. Uh, please help me. Please save me. Please save me from myself. You know, when I was broken and I was on my last, I, like I had lied to everybody. Everybody thought I had a whole bunch of money and I wasn't doing anything but moving money from here and placing it over there, then trying to get it from over here, robbing Peter to pay Paul, John, Jack, Sue, and Bob. And um, when all of the pots were empty and the bottom had fallen out, then people knew that I was not telling the truth and I was exposed. So I was like, what am I going to do now? And I asked God to save me from myself. That's all I said. I didn't even ask for more money. I said, when people see you, they will see me. And what I realized now I was asking for is I was asking for the ability to make better decisions. I was asking for the ability to um, not feel like I had to keep up with the Joneses. I was asking for the ability to say no. I was asking for the ability to say yes to the right things. I was asking for the ability to do the things that I did not know how to do. And clearly at that point, with all of my degrees, with all of my intellect, with even all of my success, I did not have wisdom. So remember, being broke is so unnecessary when God has given you the ability to get wisdom. And if you want to get wisdom, number one, I'm going to tell you to talk to God. Whatever that means to you, talk out loud. Now, people might think you crazy, so don't go walking down the street just talking to yourself, okay? Um, you might have to think to yourself. That's talking as well. Um, if you are in your house and there are family members sitting around you and everybody's at the dinner table, um, don't talk to yourself right there. <laughs> they're going to think something's wrong, all right? But when you have your quiet moments and your quiet time, when you wake up in the morning before you go to sleep at night, um, those thoughts that are in your head, start to think them, start to say them, and start to believe them. And ask God for what it is that you want. And the number one thing that you want is wisdom, okay? Here's the next thing you're going to do. If you want the wisdom that's going to lead you to better decisions. Number two, you're going to write. You're going to write what you say. Um, if you were to look at my journals, and many of you will get a chance to do that because we have a huge, huge, huge event coming up very soon that I'll be announcing. And I'm, I'm also going to have an opportunity for some of you to come to my house. Yes, yes, yes. And we're going to have dialogues and we're going to uh, have conversations and we're going to talk about healing and growth and wealth and all that other good stuff. But if you were to look at my journals from the past 14 years, you would be flabbergasted because there are things that I wrote in my journal in 2008 that are literally happening today. There are things that I prayed for. There are things that I wish for. There are conversations that I had with myself, with God, the universe. I spoke out loud and I chose to write those things because thoughts disentangle themselves when they pass through your fingertips. So I want you to write. The third thing that I want you to do is this, and this is so important. Being broke is so unnecessary when God has given you the ability to get wisdom. The third thing you want to do on this path to getting wisdom, to getting access to wisdom, you just have to have the ability to get it. Having the ability to get it means you have the ability to open your eyes. You have the ability to say yes. You have the ability to nod your head. You have the ability to make a choice. You don't have to have it already. You just have to have the ability. The third thing is this. Surround yourself with what it is that you're asking for. So if you need a healthy relationship, surround yourself with healthy relationships. If you need uh, more money, surround yourself with 
uh, educational tools, with people who have money, uh, with people who have been where you were trying to go. Um, someone asked me, um, they said, I just filed bankruptcy. I want to buy a house. Okay, I have a class, how to bounce back from bankruptcy and build wealth. I'm not just saying that, you know, just for that. But what I'm saying is surround yourself with everything that you see, which means that you want, which means you're going to have to disconnect yourself from the stuff that you don't want. You're going to have to have the courage to do it. You're going to have to have the will to do it. And more importantly, you're going to have to have the wisdom to do it. And wisdom is yours if you seek it. Being broke is so unnecessary when God has given you the ability to get wisdom. Join me for Independence Day. I have a special event. It's open to everybody. It's free. I want you to go to askleb.org because we're about to get your life back. You're going to get your purpose back. You're going to get your money back. We're going to get it all back. And I'm right here with you.